Hello all, in this video we have to see these four points related to informatica session logs. Now let's start with the first point that is how will you change the session log directory path in informatica. Now there can be various reasons for which you will have to change the session log directory. Uh, let's say I have created this workflow, a dummy workflow and when you create a workflow by default it will have the session log directory file location as this uh, parameter uh, parameter now this is not an absolute path let's say you run this workflow so it will create some session log go to the monitor and if you click on the get session you will get the session but if you want to see the ex ex exact or absolute path of this session log just log to informatica repository and uh, go to the respective integration service on which your workflow is running so let's go back to the workflow check the integration service on which this workflow is running so workflow edit and so this is the integration service so go to the same integration service in informatica admination tool and go to the processes over here so over here you will see this parameter which is defined at a session level so pm session log directory and this is nothing but the combination of two parameters or the uh, this is the actual directory session log which is residing inside this rel relative path and this is nothing but this particular location so under this location you will find session log directory let's go back to this cd and so there is a session log directory let's go into that session log directory ls so currently there is one session log i will remove this so now there are zero logs there now let's run the workflow so another setting which we'll have to see is save session logs for this run which is currently zero so by default it is zero let's run the run this workflow okay so this workflow ran at 12.38 now let's go back to directory so it's 12.38 run this workflow one more time Twelve thirty nine. now let's open the old workflow now if you go back to this this directory session log directory will find only one session log so which is the latest session log so the 1238 session log got overridden by the latest log so you will have only one session log here now if you try to open this old session log which got created at 1238 you will see 1239 only so there is no log available for old runs now for for any reason let's say you need to store last five logs 10 logs so what changes you will do now if you see help file over here see by default when you configure a workflow or session to create a log file integration service creates one log file for session log integration service overrides the log file when you run the workflow again so the same thing we have seen now to create a session log for more than workflow or a session runs configure the workflow session to archive logs in below two ways by run and by timestamp now let's go to the session again so by default it is by session runs if you want to change that you can change it by session timestamp but we are going to see only for the session run for the sake of this video and uh, let's change this to 1 now let's see what happens 
I will delete this file which is currently available now there are no logs let's run this workflow go back to the log directory so if you can see this 3 got appended prior to this bin extension now let's observe this thing I will run it again so this is for the second time I am, I am running this workflow I will run it again for the third time I ran this workflow now at session level in a setting though I have specified to store the session log only for one save session log of the runs one now let's go back to the directory so here you can see there are three logs got created now let's run it for one more time Got completed. Let's go back to directory and check. So there are still three logs. Now, what exactly happened? So, as you can see earlier, there were two logs which got created at 12:41, and now the old oldest log got overridden by this, the latest log. Now you can see two logs files got created at 12.42 now why it happened even though you specified to store only one session log as a history we can see three log files now if you go, go back to the help directory or uh, help file see if you achieve log files by run if you archive log, log files by run specify the number of text log files you want the integration service to create so in this case we specified it as one the integration service creates number of historical log files you specify plus the most recent log file if you specify five runs integration service create most recent workflow log file plus historical logs 0 to 4 so in our case as we specified one it created 0 to 1 that is two log files along with that it also created or stored most recent log file so in total it has created three log files so when you specify when you specify save session log files as zero which is default it will store only one file and when you specify it as one it will create additional two files along with the most recent one so we have covered these two these two points now let's let's see what happens when you remove all the logs let's see I am removing so there are no logs as of now and now when you try to fetch the session logs you will get an error workflow monitor is nothing but actually pulling those fiscal session log files and it's displaying that now let's run this workflow one more time so that we'll have some session log file available now let's check this session log file so as you can see this session log file is quite readable now let's go back to directory now let's check this session log file the content of this session log file actually so as it's showing the warning maybe this is a binary file I am, I am seeing yes see it anyway yes so as you can see this file is not readable at all 
because it's a binary file but at informatica monitor you can read the file because by mo monitor by default converting this binary file into a readable format now informatica provides some functions to convert this log file sorry binary file into a readable text file or html file whatever format you want but there is a simplest way there is another way let's say if you go to properties there is a option called write backward compatible session log file now if you check on this session now let's run this workflow again so now ideally we, sh we are supposed to see two log files at directory with bin as an extension since we are we are expecting only two files but there are currently three files two of them are bin dot bin extension and another the la latest one is of log extension now let's open this latest file so if you see the timestamp of both these files is same let's open this now this is this is a readable format so what happens is when you click on this backward ability you click on this backward compatibility option informatica creates two files one is in binary format uh, and another is in readable format now let's check so we have covered this session logs for this we have covered these we have covered this and the another thing let's say you want to change this session log directory so there are different ways to do that like you can either hard code your session log directory and file name over here or you can override this parameter by some other parameter name or the safest way or the easiest way which will applicable for entire integration service is you go back to your informatica administration tool and over here you just simply change the folder name whatever you want so that will applicable for all the workflows which are running inside that integration service thanks for watching this video